Hey guys, it's me Gunner, or Gunguest from Minecraft, with a, uh, a new video, a different type of video, because usually I'm doing my, we're doing Minecraft, but today we're going to make letters that look like this and this. So, first one with Paint.net, so it's a win-win situation. Cool things with a G, with a free program. Oh my gosh, who ever thought of that? Yeah. So. First, we're going to start out with this. Now, you can make it so this part's gradient, like the letters if you want to. I'm not quite sure what that would look like. I kind of like it like this without the gradient, but we're going to try it with the gradient. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the color that you want. I'm going to do green because I already did that and I know it works. I know it does. Don't, don't question me. I know it does. There we go. Let's make it that kind of green. We go to the gradient tool. You can choose any of these. And then I go down to the bottom, and then we go to the top. <gasps> oh my goodness me, it's so beautiful, it's so shiny, it looks professional! Now, you want to take your letter tool. And you need the Minecraft X2 font. I will have a description, a uh, link in the description for that. And now you write whatever you want to write. So let's write... Narnia. No. Copyright claims. Um... <laughs> oh, speaking of copyright, let's just do copyright. And that's a little too big. Uh you can if you hit shift it will give it cracks, but I don't want to do the cracks this time. I just I just don't feel that like that right now. I don't have that much of a need to play Minecraft at the moment. All right, so we have a completely different from the background. Just make sure whatever you do have the letters ex completely different from the background. So black is obviously going to tell it's going to tell the difference from the green. So now what we want to do is we want to make a new layer and put it below this one. And we want to make this the color of the letters you want. And it's going to be the gradient. The gradient fadent. Um yeah, let's just do this color and boom. Just do it the same way that you made the background before. And now you can make this visible again. And you take the magic wand, click this, control X to delete. Control X, 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 control X. And yeah, that's pretty much the, all there is to the gradient background and the gradient letters. I personally don't like it that much. I mean, I guess if you made this gradient a blue gradient, maybe. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, well, I guess it looks alright. Um, so, if you like that, that's great. Um, but I personally like this kind more, so I'm going to show you how to make this now. And then we're going to get on to this. So, let's... uh. Let's control X. <laughs> uh, let's delete this layer as well. So we just have a fresh start. Control X. Now, so what you want to do, I think I'm going to use uh, blue this time. I'm going to do a dark blue over a bright blue. I'm going to take a gradient. It's going to be just like this. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Not at all. No. You want to take the dark, the background color, but with no gradient. So you just use the paint bucket. And now, it's, um, what you want to do is you want to take your writing tool with the Minecraft 2 font. And you can use whatever font you want, really. It it doesn't really matter that much. Make sure it's completely opposite. Mm, woof. Let's just do woof. Yay. Look at that beautiful woof. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you wish you were done. Okay. And now you take the back and you take the color of the letters that you want. Let's make this invisible so we can see how great we are at doing this. Do the bottom and... It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. Don't, don't question. So now we take our magic brush. Control X. Control X. Control X. Control X. Oh my gosh, isn't it so beautiful? It's just like this, except this one's this one's a little more poppy outy. This one's kind of just ugh. 
So the way we can fix that is by chopping it down a little bit, making it look like there's a border. And boom! Let's make this side a little bit more. Yeah. Whoop. Oh no, I did that wrong. Okay, the white cursor. And control X. Oh no, I did it again. Oh, I'm horrible. And my control, my undo isn't working. My control Y. Hmm, that's weird. All right. Uh, there we go. And it looks a little bit better now. The way we can make it pop like this is we can take. If you want to get really precise, you can get in there, get all the freaking pixels. So we might as well. Um, how many pixels away from it is? Is it one, two, three, four, five? There's five. So one, two, three, four, five. So we want to take this, then one, two, three, four, five. There we go. My goodness me, it's perfect. Ah, now Luke, don't, don't die, Luke, don't die. And we go here. <laughs> Control X. Oh my goodness me. And now, if you want to get the background out too, you go. Control Z, Control Copy, Control X, Control X. No, Control V, Control X. It's a very complicated series of events. I would, I would, I would, I would say so myself. If I would say so myself. Okay. Control X. And I've noticed that some colors look better in gradients than others. You can also do the W's here. I mean, that might get a little bit too complicated. As you can see, I just made it so L, P, C. Yeah, you could also do that with this one if you wanted to, and it'd be basically the same as this. But if you wanted to, you know. So there we go, our woof. We can, if we were to take that away, look something like this. Eh, more or less like that. Okay. Now let's start out with a new one. We're going to finally be moving on to this. I just decided to start up completely new. All right, uh, Control X, get rid of the white. Now we are ready, people. We're we're ready. Okay, so we're making this one. Now this is just gradient background with no gradient leather letters. So, same as always, let's do a red gradient background. That's not gradient tool, that is the selection tool. This is the gradient tool. And we go here. App, 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 app. Ah! Perfect! Alright, I'm sorry, I'm getting... Ah! Alright. You don't really need layers if you want to. It might be helpful if you screw up. Like, if you were to screw up where the letters are on this one. What? No. What the heck? Okay, well that's dumb. If you were to screw up on the letters on this one, you couldn't move it around without screwing up the gradients. So, I'm going to make a new... So then we have free range on moving it around. I'm going to do black, and we're going to do wharf. I have caps lock on, that's why it's like this. Oh, well, might as well demonstrate it. You can do it without the the whatever's, too. So let's go blue. Whoa, did that just make a gradient? Why does that look gradient? That's weird. Oh no, it's just the effect of the red on the blue. That's cool. Actually, that's really cool how the it does that. Are you guys seeing that? It looks it looks gradient, but it's not. That's awesome. Well, anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. I just taught you how to make was it 3 or 4? I'm I think it was a uh, 
it was four, three, I don't know. It was how many different texts I showed you. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, ask me what you want me to do next, because I'm running out of ideas. Thank you for watching. See you, and goodbye. Au revoir, or whatever that means. I have no idea what that means. Anyway, goodbye. Oh, <laughs>